Earlier this week on the Lee Anderson Show... Because it is a worldwide problem, Home Secretary. It needs a worldwide solution. Do you think they're listening to you? So if you didn't know it already, Sue Ella Braverman gave a speech in the US which basically boiled down to this statement. People want control of their borders and they want governments to get a grip on this. And if we don't, it will lead to a disintegration in our society. She did also claim that multiculturalism has failed. Now, remember that last statement because it will become relevant later on. But first, we're going to listen to Rishi Sunak defending the Tory candidate for London Mayor, Susan Hall. Can I talk about the mayoral election? Is someone who likes a tweet depicting Enoch Powell saying it's not too late to take London back the right person to be your candidate? No, I think Susan Hall will be a fantastic mayor for London. I, I tweet, or I used to, do you remember liking time. a tweet that had the language, it's never too late to get London back with a picture of Enoch Powell? Yes, and I've explained that. It's, it's never too late, which is what I'm saying to you. It is not too late to make London better again. We've got traffic jams left, right and centre. We've got Do the you, ULES expansion. Are you a there fan are... of Enoch Powell? You wouldn't like a tweet like that. Yeah, but what, what Susan is focused on is delivering for Londoners. You know, better quality, more housing for young people. Well, actually, I'm glad you brought this up because... When I retweet it, oh no, I don't think, I think I liked it. I, I don't know, this was a long time ago. Susan's values are the right ones and, and that's why I think she'll be a great mayor for London. She's the first Tory candidate to not be invited to speak at a Tory conference. I bet Susan is working very hard with me. As I said, we, we're working hard to deliver for Londoners. But what, why, why, I don't understand. There was a picture of him and you liked that tweet. I know. If you're, a, if you're a serial tweeter, you tend to go through liking all sorts of things and you sometimes read things and don't see it. If anybody is offended, then obviously I would apologise. But going You back, don't think... You can't see why people would be offended with I, that. You I say, can you say now, if been, anyone is yeah. offended. Well... It, I have to explain to you the offence. No, because because it wasn't it, it wasn't intended, and 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 this is the thing. If anybody when you was, called Gemma Collins a stupid fat blonde woman, was that intended? Uh, the prime minister. How unusual is it that the Tory candidate um, to be mayor doesn't actually address uh, the conference? Uh, it's not just unusual, it's unprecedented. Mm. I think I've covered every Conservative Party conference for the last 25 years and I've heard every Conservative London mayoral candidate deliver a keynote speech. I was asking a question to Twitter as to who who is this person and, yeah, I mean, I've apologised for that as well. I mean, they will, people will throw these tweets at me and I accept it and if I've offended anybody I apologise you keep going. saying if as if you can't realise that there is offence Susan Hall Be because calling I'm sorry to say it again calling someone a stupid fat blonde woman liking a picture of Enoch Powell talking about the mayor I apologise again a nipple height mayor you seem surprised people are offended some people are and some people aren't those that are offended um, I'm, I didn't intend oh. to cause any offence at all. But going to, back to Lauren... To the broader have... question, can you represent Muslims? Can you represent women? Can you represent people? Susan Hall. Yes, of course I can. Explain and going to Lauren back how. To, and going back to Lauren, yes, of course please. we've got an incredible um, Muslim community. We really do. Um, and uh, if, they've, if they've... I go back to saying if. To whoever was offended, I most sincerely apologise. I spent a lot of time in mosques, etc., um, because in London we're very, very lucky. We've got a, a really good multicultural uh, community out there and it, it brings extra depth to London. Click here for Rishi Sunak's levelling up update.